Hi folks, Nat1971 now here, continuing to look at uh, Tesla's transmission of electrical energy, patent 645-576, note the magnifying transmitter here and here. In this video I'm going to show you how to produce a ether gas. You heard it folks, a ether gas. Okay, now take note of Gray's conversion tube, uh, which I've showed before. Uh, Cylinder, insulator, cylinder, insulator, etc. And here's, here's the, um, another view of it. Okay, Nathan Stubberfield transmitter. Cylinder within a cylinder. Cylinder within a cylinder. Okay, folks, so in my system, the let's pretend that's the ignition coil, and I've got a cylinder of that here going up to the sphere. Okay, on both systems. So I've got my ignition coil, and I've got a cylinder here going up to my sphere. Okay, so what's basically happening is the radiant energy is leaving the ignition coil, hitting the cylinder, producing a ether gas. Okay, uh, and at this stage, I'm not even bothering about the spark gap at this point because it's, I can hear it hissing and the, the voltmeter just goes off the scale, okay? Okay folks, you can see my ignition coil here um, is connected to this uh, aluminium cylinder which then goes up to my sphere, okay? And here we're looking at my receiver circuit which goes over to my cylinder which then goes up on the roof to my sphere, okay? Now previously when I hooked up the voltmeter to the receiver circuit with without the cylinder, nothing was being measured. So what I'm about to show you now, um, I'll turn it on and you watch the voltmeter. So just bear with me for a second. Okay, I'm about to turn it on. And it goes off the scale. And if you listen carefully, you can hear the hisses. Okay, so I'll turn it off. And let's turn it back on. Turn it off. See, before nothing was getting measured. So I think what's happening here is that we've got radiant energy in the system. The radiant energy radiant energy hits hits the cylinders and is then discharging a ether gas into the system which then measures up on the voltmeters. Hmm. So I think at this point Tesla, what Tesla was doing was line up light bulbs with the radiant energy and probably running remote, remote AC motors and whatever with the a ether gas. So this is becoming more, very, it's becoming very interesting very quickly. So, so basically, it should only take five minutes to build something like this. All it is is a layer of aluminium foil on the inside of this, covering the whole length. Another layer of aluminium foil on the outside, covering the whole length. And then uh, some electrical tape over the, over the top. Very simple, but um, yeah on my receiver circuit and I'm going to pull this apart and show you exactly what's in there. Okay, so basically we've got aluminium foil in the shape of a cylinder inside another cylinder. Okay, so I'll just do that now. Like that. Alright, and then there's another layer of that aluminium foil on the top of the uh, cardboard roll, you can just see the aluminium foil there, and then they've got tape on the other side, okay?